What is going on, Cryptic Crew? This is your boy Cryptic Flash bringing you guys the next episode of our Pokemon Roach Ranked VGC series, you guys. If you guys are excited, make sure you hit that like button down below for more uh, for more VGC content. Also, subscribe if you're new to join the Cryptic Crew. If you guys watched last episode, you guys saw me get my tail handed to me, you guys. It was bad. It was really bad. Um, I lost all three of my matches. They were disgusting matches. I don't want to talk about it, so we're going to just move on. We're going to just go on, continue our road. This will be our last episode with this team. I'm kind of glad because I am struggling right now. We are still in Master Ball, but we are struggling. We are 23-10 and 10 on this season. Um, I'm hoping that things can kind of uh, mellow off for us. I mean, these are the teams we've been seeing, and this is what I've been struggling against. I mean, that Glacier, I need options and answers for that thing, so... Um, as far as the options, Cartana Metagross answers it. Insin answers it. What does he lead with, though, is the question. That is the very, very question that I'm asking. Um, he's got Feeny and Zapdos. So I, I do think I bring Raichu. Raichu Metagross, maybe? Bring Kartana for the Feeny and Glacier. And then Ensign? What does Ensign do? I mean, Glacier. I mean, it gives me three options for Glacier. Or do I bring my own Feeny? Hmm. <laughs> Feeny doesn't really do anything for me though. I mean, Zapdos maybe, but he's got Reggie Likey, and that's scary. I think I just bring Insin. I mean, Insin is the better answer to that Glacier. Metagross and Kartana can handle other things, and maybe that's what I need to focus on is using um uh, using Insin for that Glacier. This will be interesting. This will be interesting. Oregon and Glacier. Okay. Okay. We all know what this thing is doing. It's going to be Trick Room shenanigans. And honestly, what I think I want to do is Brutal Swing into a... Gosh darn. Okay. All the valuables right you. I mean, we've got Cartana for the Feeny. Uh, Zapdos would kind of be a problem. But if we can get this off, Metagross could actually do the work. So I think I want to go ahead and Brutal Swing Max Steel Spike into Glacier. Because I need that thing off off the team. I mean, we've, we've seen the power last episode of Glacier. He just kind of messed us up. So... If we can, uh, I mean, we're putting all of our eggs in this basket that he keeps Glacier in. And that's kind of unfortunate. Um, but he doesn't have the quickest team. And I don't know what he switches out into. He's going to stay in. And maybe we're going to see a max. And if he's weakness policy, that's a problem. But we are weakness policy. And we're going to get a weakness policy hit off because of Raichu. Curious as to how this goes. Please don't max. Just chill. Just chill. Brutal swing. Okay, he doesn't max. I actually think that's a dead uh, Glacier. I do, I do. So he might get his trick room up, but that's fine. Because my, my Pokemon aren't the fastest. And this is going to be dead. Goodbye, Glacier. Okay, that's, that's a solid start for us, guys. That is a solid start. So it's going to boost our defense, and we get our uh, our beautiful weakness policy off. And PZ goes for Trick Room. That's fine. I mean, we knew that was coming. So Raichu is uh, a little, little um, useless right now. But that's fine. We can just switch out. I guess we do have a uh, Kartana in the back. What does Reggie Likey do? I mean, I guess it can just set up screens. I'm gonna just electroweb. No, 
think I just Volt Switch. Go out into what? Insane? Probably. I'm gonna Volt Switch on the Reggie Lucky. And we're gonna Max Quake the Lucky. In that case, we're gonna Volt Switch Porygon and we are going to Max Quake the Reggie Lucky. So I don't know what Porygon does to us. And I wanna get rid of his offensive threats. Porygon is more of a utility defensive mod. Are you maxing your Lecky? Are you doing the thing? Are you doing the thing, my guy? Hmm? Oh, he's doing the thing. But you have the trick room up. And I'm pretty sure Reggie Lecky is a pretty quick boy. Maybe he's not. Maybe I'm a fool. Am I a fool? Look at him dance. Max guard. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, we went for it. <laughs> we went for it. I think that was kind of foolish. Maybe not. I don't know. Because I'm just going to go for Max Quake again. Into that Reggie Lucky. And it would probably kill. We're going to go Kartana. No. We're going to go Insin. And fake out that uh, Porygon. I want to keep Kartana in the back for when Trick Room runs out. We can outspeed some things. Intimidate doesn't really help us any. And he goes... Oh, he resets Trick Room. Okay, that was a good play. That was a very good play. So I'm actually going to Snarl. And we're going to Max Guard the Metagross. Because he's going to outspeed. What does he do to Metagross though? I don't think he kills Metagross. And I don't want to waste my Max. Because if I max guard, I will, uh... This doesn't kill. It's resisted. Yeah, it doesn't kill. And so that's why I didn't want to max guard there, is because I didn't want to... I didn't want to burn my Dynamax turn, because then I would just be regular, and then I don't think that a Stomping Tantrum KOs this thing. But Max Quake does! <laughs> max Quake definitely KOs this thing. It's a crit. I don't think the crit mattered. I do not think the crit mattered, and we're going to go ahead and get the Snarl off on the Porygon. Lower that thing's special attack. This feels like a cryptic match, you guys. Last episode, I was uh, I was really upset after recording last episode. Uh, it was not my best work. It was not my best work, so I'm glad that we're able to start this episode off with a very uh, positive match here. Oh, he gets the burn, of course. Of course, that's fine. Um, because I think that now my attack is neutral. Zapdos does come out. I'm curious. I'm gonna double into Zapdos. What typing is Zapdos? I think it's Ghost. No, because Snarl would be super effective. I'm gonna Flare Blitz the Zapdos, and we're going to... Uh, Ice Punch the Zapdos. Please don't protect Zapdos. <laughs> Could you imagine? I'm doubling up into it. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Thunderous Kick. What on earth? We are dead. We are dead. I'm glad I doubled up into it. It seems to be a, so a physical electric type. What's your secondary typing? No, so you're flying because ice was super effective. By attack. Okay. So we still have Kartana and Raichu. I'm going to save Kartana for the Porygon. And we're going to do the thing here. We are doing the thing. So I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz into the Zapdos. I'm going to go for the Electro Web into the Zapdos as well. Um, to hopefully slow that thing down so that Incin can just bop it. curious i'm sorry i'm, I'm sorry i'm uh, i feel quiet in this commentary i'm just very curious as to how this is gonna play out into Insin. interesting my lightning rod did not kick in i don't know why it didn't kick in the electro web does go off it almost picks up the knockout it does lower your speed though on zapdos i'm imagining yeah so now i can just volt switch into zapdos 
defiant. Oh my gosh. You are a scary boy. Fire attack. That's fine. We're AV. We're AV. We eat these. We eat. Oh my gosh. A crit. You guys. A freeze. You are joking. You are absolutely joking. No way this man wins based off of freaking hacks. This is 100% just crap. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we leaf played the Zapdos. We thaw out? I mean, come on. I'm gonna go for the Zapdos just in case we, un we thaw? This is not how we lose, you guys. No! I believe Cartana does outspeed. We'll go ahead and get our Beast Boost off for our attack. Which will go ahead and help us knock out the Porygon. But my goodness, this is way closer than it needs to be. We do thaw out and go for the Volt Switch. My gosh. So that uh, freeze wasn't... Uh, it didn't help my opponent, but it had potential to. Oh my gosh, I honestly thought we were freezing again. I did. Sacred Sword with the attack boost will knock that thing out, and Volt Switch will uh, help do the thing. Oh my goodness, we are having to work for these victories, you guys. We are having to work through these victories. Wow, what a match. GG's, Aaron. GG's. Alright, I need to check out his squad, because I need to see what Galarian Zapdos is. I have no idea. And that thing is just power. So it's defiant. Lightning Rod did not work on it. So Fire Dark, uh, where are you at, where are you at, where are you at? Fighting Flying with a Choice Scarf. Thunder's Kick is a fighting type move. Okay, okay, Fighting Flying, interesting. Interesting, interesting. So in that case, Tapu Fini actually is the uh, the answer to that thing. So that was a good uh, that was a good match one. Um, we do get to uh, improve our standings a little bit, uh, but I wanna I wanna win a couple here. I wanna get comfortably in Master Ball ranking. I don't wanna be just like on the brink of it. I want to. Oh my gosh, we are going up against someone who is ranked sixteen forty. All right, what are we dealing with here? What are we dealing with? Shenanigans, that's what we're dealing with. Ooh. I think we bring, honestly, Maltrace, Abu Fini, lead there. Lead there. Bring what do we what do we need to cover? We need to have something for that Lunala. I think Incineroar is the answer for Lunala. And honestly, Metagross for that Grimmsnarl. I think Metagross for that Grimmsnarl. What my thought is is maybe uh, switching Tapu Fini out turn one, depending on what he leads with. This is a Sun team. We use something similar like this. Um, we encountered a gosh darn sleep powdering, uh, we used the sleep powdering Venusaur, so that's very likely in this situation. Because that thing is just disgusting with sleep powder. Unless we can't go to sleep with, uh, Misty Terrain. Oh my gosh. He's doing the thing. He is 100% doing the thing. All right, we are going for the turn one swap into Insin, and we are going to max airstream this. Uh, he's gonna outspeed with the stinking. Cause he's probably got Torkoal in the back. He's probably going to swap out Cresselia for the Torkoal to get the chlorophyll boost on the guy on Venusaur and get the sleep powder off on my gosh darn Moltres. Um, so that's what he wants to do. do. I just protect Moltres? want to swap out to Insin if he wants to do that. And then I want to go for the Dynamax Max Guard. 
I'm putting a lot of eggs into this basket that he uh, is going for the, the chlorophyll uh, sleep powder. But I have a tough time thinking he just lets me max airstream into that slot. Switch out Cresselia. Oh my gosh, I could have done it. I could have done it. I showed my hand. I showed my hand. I burned a max turn. That's really unfortunate. I just don't want to be put to sleep. If I'm put to sleep, we start having issues. You guys know the power of sleep powder. But honestly, I don't think that this is horrible for us. What are you maxing? Venusaur? Is this a G-Max Venusaur? It is a G-Max Venusaur. He's probably going for that um, Incineroar slot. With whatever grassy move this boy gets. I'm Max Guarding. I'm scared. I'm scared right now. I have no idea what this thing does. Max Ooze. We protect. We're sitting pretty fancy right now. And the Trick Room goes off. That sucks. That absolutely does suck. So, we are going to go ahead and Snarl. And Max Ooze. We just switch out? No, I think we do go Max Airstream. It's fine. It'll make us slower. But I think I'm fine with that. I just want to get a big hit off on this thing. Yo, G-Max Venusaur is kind of crazy looking. Ally switch. We're still going to get a Snarl off. That kind of sucks because we're going to max Airstream this Cresselia. Instead of the boy. Instead of the boy. We're going to max Ooze. It's going to Ooze all over us. Insane. That's fine, dude. That did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. Special attack raises, but I'm just going to Snarl you and uh, decrease your special attack. And... We're going to go ahead and beat up on this Cresselia a little bit. Speed raises. Speed raises. We're going to keep snarling and we are going for the max airstream into... I don't think he ally switches again. I don't think you ally switch again. Yeah. G max vine lash. Oh my gosh. We eat those. We eat those. Moonblast into Incin. Yo, Incin is out here though. Incin is out here. Snarl. We're going to keep decreasing your special attack. And we're going to get a max airstream off. Incin is, uh, is power right here. He's got the flying berry. This man came prepared. GG's on that. Still did a decent amount. Still did a decent amount. Speed raises again. Now we need to get rid of this Cresselia. Because I... Oh my gosh. These moves. These max moves are crazy. They are absolutely crazy. So he's done with his max. I'm done with my max. We're, we're unmaxed, you guys. We are minimized. We are minimized. All right, so I think that this actually is a pretty sweet case for us. Um, I don't want a parting shot so that we can have fake out potential in the back. And I want a parting shot on the Venusaur. And I'm going to Fiery Wrath to hit both Pokemon. Sludge Bomb goes off into... In oh, into Moltres. It's the poison. This guy... Moonblast goes off into Moltres as well. And we get a pretty free parting shot into the Venusaur. Venusaur is essentially crippled right now. If I'm being honest. That thing is crippled. And I kind of want to go Metagross. Because they're crippled right now. And I can start putting in some offensive pressure with Metagross. I mean, their stats are just butter. They're butter after all of our uh, decreases. So Fiery Wrath is going to come off. It does some good damage. I'm honestly glad that uh, it kept 
his Pokemon alive. Yo, that sucks that it still does it even when I switched. We do get the Berserk, I believe. No? Interesting. Okay. Um, I think I go for the Ice Punch into Venusaur and just Fiery Wrath. Curious as to what he does. Does he just take out Moltres, Earth Power? That's gonna activate my weakness policy. And your your stats are butter, dude, so you're not doing that much. You are not doing that much. And I don't think that a Cresselia kills my Moltres either. Moonblast into Moltres? Yeah. You're not gonna knock me out. And actually I think I get my Berserk? I don't get Berserk! Interesting. Probably because of all the secondary effects. So I actually think I want to keep uh, Cresselia alive because it's stats. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm going to kill it right here. I'm going to kill it right here. <laughs> I'm sitting over here talking like I'm going to have any control of keeping this thing alive. Oh, that does so much damage. All right. Does Trick Room end? Do we live? We do not. Honestly, I think that's best case scenario, though, because we can go out into Incineroar and Dimensions turn back to normal. So I think we go Incineroar so we have Fake Out Potential into something. And can kind of figure out what we want Metagross to do. So he's got a... Oh, I'm just kidding. This is ours. I thought he was uh, sending out a Metagross or uh, Incineroar. So Torkoal. And what's your other mod? Food. So this thing's probably scarfed, or uh, I mean sashed. I think I want to fake it out. But right now, honestly, Urshifu is not the problem. The problem is that Torkoal, which I believe Metagross outspeeds. So we're going to fake out the Urshifu and Stomping Tantrum into the Torkoal. That's fine. I'm not I'm not really concerned about you. I'm concerned about that Torkoal. Because we do have the Feeny in the back. Okay, that sucks. That absolutely sucks. Double protect. I did not see that one coming. I absolutely did not see that one coming. Okay. So what what do I do? What do I do? I think I switched Metagross into the Feeny. I think I do that. And I think I just go ahead and go for the Flare Blitz on the Urshifu. Because he's probably going for a Eruption with the Torkoal. And some Fighting type move with the Urshifu. I don't know, guys. This was a close one, but I don't think that we can pull this one out. Sucker Punch fails. Flare Blitz goes off into the Urshifu. That was huge. Oh, that was huge. Now we're out. Heat Wave. We should eat this. We do eat this. Okay. Okay. Metagross. All right, and what I think I do is I think he might sucker punch the Metagross knowing that I outspeed the Torkoal with it. And so I think I just protect and Moonblast, hoping that he sucker punches. Unless he double protects again, and in that case, I'm very frustrated. He's not protecting because he outspeeds. Wicked Blow into Feeny. That's fine. That's fine. Metagross is my win con. Red. That's expected. We get our berry. We munching on these berries, ladies and gentlemen. Moonblast comes off. Knocks out the Urshifu. And so Torkoal is the only threat right now. Solar Beam. Ooh. Into my Feeny. 
So I actually didn't even need to protect. I actually shouldn't have. That was a misplay on my part. But we still live. And now you've got two Pokemon coming at you. I mean, he's probably going to Heat Wave. So maybe I Heal Pulse. Maybe I Light Screen. What do I do? Do I Heal Pulse Metagross? Will it knock us out? I feel like how I play this will matter. I think that regardless, I don't think that's the play. If anything, I think Light Screen because... I think, oh, I don't know. This is the play, I think. I think. Because Heal Pulse, I don't think is going to be the play because Heat Wave will one-shot me. Because he's got the sun up. I feel it will. But maybe it won't. Maybe we can dodge? Oh my gosh. This is so close. We're going to lose. We are going to lose. Oh, if I had a water move. Can I heal pulse myself? No. Oh, no. We're going to protect. See if we can sell out some sun. Oh my gosh. That was a close one. I'm trying to think how I could have played that better. Can we protect? Sunlight faded. This is interesting. Moonblast is not very effective. This is interesting. We have the light screen up. We have the misty terrain up. We need a crit. Heat wave. We should live. We do live. We don't have misty terrain. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. We need like a super crit. I don't think we got this, guys. But we did make it. I mean, it was a super close match. You can't be mad about that. You really can't. Oh my gosh. That's how it happened. Miss? That would have been the thing. That would have been the thing is a miss on the heat wave. I don't know how we play that better. On Metagross, I do know. We don't protect that turn because he doubled up into Feeny. And so that protect was a waste. And so if we don't protect that turn and we get any damage on this Torkoal, we win that one. That's how we would have won. But I thought that the Sucker Punch was uh, super obvious on the Metagross and that was my bad. Oh my goodness. These matches, they're mind games. I want to do one more. Um, see if we can go ahead and uh, pull out a dub on our last one. And this will be the last uh, the last match here with this team until we uh, kind of switch things up a little bit. Oh my goodness. That was frustrating. I mean, we went against someone that was like half our ranking. So they were, they were pretty solid. They were definitely pretty solid. Hopefully we can hold our own in this last match and uh, finish strong. Because this team, I do like the dynamic of, of this team, but I, I struggled a little bit. Uh, this thing is way weak to Metagross. Like, way weak to Metagross. It's got that Togetic, which is very scary. I think we need Raichu. I kind of want to just try to set up with Moltres and Metagross at the beginning. Have Raichu in the back and have Artana? I think we're going big, guys. We are going big. Um, Moltres and Metagross and Raichu. All oh, is Cartana the play or is Incineroar the play? Because we have answers for that Togekiss. What is uh, Cartana good against? I mean, it's got Fighting and Grass, so. Mammoth Swine? Would be the only thing. But if Metagross can set up. Really the question is. is How, how is he approaching with that uh, Mammal Swine? Insin handles the. The. Rillaboom. I think I'd go Insin. I'm more scared of. Uh, 
I guess I should have. I don't think Rillaboom's a good a good bring on my opponent's part, so I honestly think I should have brought Kartana. But I wish I had more time. <laughs> I wish I had more time to decide that because that was what I overall uh, think. Because a Rillaboom is not an, a Pokemon that should be coming up against my squad. So he does have the Heatran. He does have the Heatran. We are going to... He's probably going to reflect. We're just going to max Airstream the Heatran and protect. And see what happens. So that we can get the speed boost up. Get some damage off on Heatran. Maybe if he maxes Heatran and goes for a fire move while we protect, we can get our weakness policy off as well. That would be sweet. That would be absolutely sweet. So our beautiful Moltres is going to... Uh, let's see. Are you going to max? Please max. Okay. And go into the Metagross. Please. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Let us get our weakness policy off. He's probably going for a reflect. Yep. Which is fine if we get a weakness policy off. Max airstream. Just in case I missed any stupid air balloon. Because <laughs> y'all know I miss those air balloons. Alright, so speed raises. So that's beautiful. Go for a fire move. Max flare. Into Metagross. Yes. Live? Yes? Perfect. That is my dream turn right there. That is my dream turn. Does that trigger weakness policy though? It does. Good deal. Good deal. Alright, that's perfect. Because now what we do is we go for the max airstream into this boy. And go for the stomping tantrum into the heatran. He's going to max guard. That's fine. You're going to waste a, a dynamax turn. Now you only have one. He's going to trick. The choice item? Oh, incense. What does that even do? I don't even have a weakness policy anymore. I don't get that. What does a full incense do? Does it slow me down? I'm going to check. He does protect. Let's see if we can see. Like summary. This exotic smelling incense makes the holder bloated and slow moving. So that's interesting. <laughs> that's very interesting. So we're going to still, I think we're still faster though. I, mean, I can't imagine it makes us that slow. I should have maybe protected. There was no reason for me to rush this. But we get rid of Grim Snarl. Are we faster? We're plus three with a full incense. I'm intrigued. I feel like we still outspeed. We don't. Oh wow. Protect was the play. I should have protected. I should have protected. But then what? Right? I don't know what happens then. Um now this thing is a problem. And I don't know what to do about it. I do not know what to do about it. We're super fast. We just need to start doubling up into it. What are you sending out? Rillaboom. Alright, but he brought the Rillaboom. So I guess I'm not upset about that. I mean, I think he shrinks now, right? Because we Dynamax at the same time. I'm gonna go Fiery Wrath. And I think I fake out the Rillaboom because I don't want him faking me out. So I'm gonna fake him out. 
I don't want him putting any damage into Raichu. Go. And the Fiery Wrath goes off. That does some damage. Earth Power into the Raichu. We're AV. We do not handle that. That's a crit. I guarantee we live if that thing doesn't crit. I guarantee we do. Alright, so how does Flash Fire work? Do I have to be attacking him? I think I just snarl, if I'm being honest. I think I snarl. I'm really bummed about that crit though. That was huge. I snarl in a nasty plot. That's the play. That's the play right there. Snarl nasty plot. And then start attacking. We're gonna see nasty plot. We've had it all uh, all three episodes and uh, now we're gonna see see what happens with it. Nasty plot, wood hammer into Ensign. It's fine. Snarl? Can we get the Snarl off first? Earth power into Ensign. We have the berry? We very much have the berry. Okay. Snarl goes off. Brit. Doesn't feel like it does much. I'm bummed we do not have the protect. Because protect would be very clutch right now. It would be very clutch right now. Do I go for another nasty plot? Because he's going to try to get rid of Ensign. I think I need to go for another nasty plot. And I think we need to be as boosted as possible. Because I think we're the fastest Pokemon right now. Unless he's got that Mammo in the back. One, two. He might have Mammo in the back. But, I mean, what do you do with that? What do you do with that information? I don't know. Grassy Glide. Into Moltres, that's fine. We get the Nasty Plot off. It all depends on what he has in the back. Even that Togekiss, though, I think uh, kind of wrecks us. That does nothing. He does get the burn, though. That sucks. Snarl. That leads me to believe that he actually does have the... The, uh, Mammo in the back. But we still have Instant out here. So... That's something. That is something. We need this... I mean, I'm getting ahead of myself. We need this Fiery Wrath to, uh, KO. Nope, 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 nope. We're plus four. So, please. Please KO. And we are going to... Snarling. Ten Fiery Wrath, please KO. Grassy Glide into the Moltres. No, into Ensign. They are very wishy-washy people. <laughs> very wishy-washy. Oh my gosh, the stinking thing. The stinking thing. Earth power into Insane. Live? We live because of the snarls. Snarls coming in clutch. Okay. Don't have mammal. Have anything but mammal. Don't have mammal. Oh, don't do it. 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 No mammal swine. I think he does, though. It's too good against my team. There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. We need to live. And we need to live. Pretty much. That's what it is. Ice Shard goes off. And we're done. That's it. That's GG's, guys. That is a wrap with this team. Honestly, we didn't do that great. I think we just finished 4-4. Four and four. 
or four and five. We did not do that good with this team, you guys. Um, the next team I think I want to try is... I honestly don't know. I need to look around and see what's out there. Um, but that that's going to be it. I... I want to see what my ranking is, but I think that if I jump in, I have to go through with another one. Um, so I think I'm going to just go ahead and wrap it up right here, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this team. It was it was a more challenging team to use for me. Um, as you guys can tell, I mean, I went two or oh, one and two in this episode. I went 0 and 3 last episode. I mean, we started out strong, um, but just kind of fell apart there. So... It was fun. It was a different team. I don't think I'd ever use it again. Um, but it was cool using different Pokemon. But I, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you hit that like button down below. As always, um, also subscribe if you're new to join the Cryptic crew. But that is going to be it for me, my friends. That's uh, This is Cryptic Flash. I'm out.